Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on the area of shapes. This is the second of two videos on this topic uh, and in this video we'll be looking specifically at triangles. Uh, so let's look at this triangle here. So if we have this triangle uh, where the width of the base we'll call B and the height of the triangle we'll call H. Uh, so B is this length here. Then the area of the triangle is a half times the base which is B times the height, which is H. And then the units will be in either centimeter squared, meter squared. Uh, it really just depends on what the units of B and H are. But moving on to the second rule, which is slightly trickier. Uh, if we have a triangle with side lengths of A, B and C, uh, and now notice how I've used lowercase letters for the sides here, and then angles on the inside are capital A, where capital A is opposite side A, capital B, opposite side B, and capital C, sorry, opposite side C, uh, then the area is given by a half times side A times side B times sine, which is a trigonometric function of angle C. Uh, so if you're not familiar with the trigonometric functions like sine, cos and tan, then feel free to check out any of our other online resources. Um, but this is the, the second rule for finding the area of a triangle. As usual, the units will be given in centimeters squared, meters squared, etc. Once again, depending on what the lengths of sides A, B and C are. So if we take a look at an example now, uh, the triangle below has a base of six centimeters and an area of 24 centimeters calculate the perpendicular height of the triangle. Uh, so the perpendicular height is this here, which we'll call H. Uh, now the formula, we'll use the first one here, is that the area of the triangle is equal to a half times the base, which is uh, six centimeters times H. Now uh, we want to get H and we have everything else. So let's plug everything else in first. So we have the area, which is 24 centimeters squared, equals a half times the base, which is six uh, times H. Now uh, let's just rearrange and solve this equation for H. So uh, we have this half here. So to remove that, we'll times everything by two. So we have 48 equals six times H and therefore H equals 48 divided by six, which equals eight centimeters. So if you'd like to get more practice with questions about the areas of shapes, uh, we do have an online exam available. It's available through our revision platform. Uh, here you'll find plenty of questions, uh, a range of different question types. Uh, so you get plenty of practice. You get instant feedback on each and every question. So this will allow you to keep track of the areas that you need to improve on. Uh, if you'd like to know more, if you'd like to take the exam, then you can click the link below. It'll take you straight there.